Oh, good morning, everybody. Um, it is really tremendous for me to be here to open this event um, with you. Can I start by thanking Harry very much for his welcome today? It really just reminds us of the profound connection that our first Australians have with a natural environment and yet another great reason why we should all be working together to try and uh, protect what's here uh, and make it better for everybody. Um, I'd like to begin by acknowledging the Mandragora Bindara Noongar traditional owners and their community and pay my respects to their elders past, present and future. Welcome again everyone, particularly for those people who have travelled so far to be with us um, from, from overseas in fact and from the eastern states. It really is tremendous to have you with us. I've had the pleasure of meeting some of you this morning and I know that the insights that you share with us locally will just be so valued by uh, the West Australian community who have come together today to talk about this really very important topic. So today's summit is an important outcome of two programs that the Department of Water and Environmental Regulation is proudly leading to improve the health of our regional estuaries, the Regional Estuaries Initiative and revitalising geographic waterways. A major strategy under these programs is about sustainable agriculture, recognising the important role that innovative and productive agriculture can play in the long-term health of our estuaries. Sustainable, productive agriculture and healthy estuaries is a major challenge for many of us in the audience and across government. How do we balance development and economic opportunities of our state while protecting the environment that provides us with these opportunities and a lifestyle that we desire? So the Department of Water and Environmental Regulation is the lead agency for the coordination of water quality improvement in Western Australia's regional estuaries. With over 80% of the state's population living in the catchments of the Swan Canning and Peel Harvey estuaries and the major agri agricultural region of the state flowing into many of our estuaries in the southwest, this is a challenging role and one we cannot do alone. Partnerships across all tiers of government, industry, catchment groups and with farmers and urban residents are critical for us to protect and restore our waterways and estuaries that have become degraded after many, many years of catchment management. Some of those partnerships have been long term and some are yet to be established. A partnership that we are very proud of and that I would like to acknowledge today is the Sustainable Agriculture Project Reference Group. The group was formed to support the delivery of the Regional Estuaries Initiative and revitalising geograph waterways sustainable agriculture projects. With representatives from the agricultural industry, government agencies, catchment groups and farmers, the group is demonstrating the collaboration and commitment that we need to deal with the challenges in this space. The group is bringing new discussion and ideas to the table on how we can better support our farmers and agricultural industries to achieve the practice changes necessary to reduce nutrient loss and the movement of organic materials off farms and improve water quality. I'm encouraged and extremely enthused by the engagement and leadership this group has shared. I would also like to particularly acknowledge our long-term partnership with our colleagues from the Department of Primary Industries and Regional Development, formerly known as the Department of Agriculture and Food, WA. They have been working tirelessly in the area of agricultural best practice for many years and we continue to be very grateful for the excellent partnership we have with that agency. The challenges that we face here in the southwest of Western Australia are obviously not unique. Our soils and agricultural practices may be different, but the challenge of having thriving agriculture and healthy waterways and estuaries are shared in many other coastal catchment areas in this country and overseas. Learning from others involved in managing water quality in agriculture, both the positive and not so positive experiences, is therefore an important opportunity for all of us and the focus of today's summit. Again, I would very much like to thank the speakers that have joined us here today from so far away to share their knowledge and expertise. I'd also like to particularly thank our very own Kelly Lavelle from our department who organised this great lineup of speakers and Sylvana Trainey who has also worked tirelessly to bring this event to life. Today's event provides us all with an opportunity to listen, learn and start new conversations. With increasing urbanisation and intensification of agriculture around many of our southwest estuaries, today's summit and the conversations and partnerships that follow will be important in defining the future of both our agricultural industries and our regional estuaries. So in closing, can I just acknowledge the many Department of Water and Environmental Regulation staff who are here today who do a tremendous job day in, day out, serving our great state. I'm very proud to be uh, your Acting Director General. I'm very proud to be opening this event on, on your collective behalf and I do wish you a tremendous day ahead. Thank you very much for coming.